Hi, I'm Rosemary Lee, and I'd like to give you a short introduction to my work, Molten Media, which is included in the exhibition, Reprogramming Earth. Molten Media is an investigation into the materiality and temporality of media. It eventually grew into a five-year research and art project, taking on various forms from artworks to a book, compiling the research side of the project. My perspective as an artist and researcher is greatly informed by the approach of media archaeology, which looks to earlier precursors in order to understand current media artifacts. This enables a longer-term approach than the often short-sighted view of technology we're most familiar with. The idea that technology heralds the future, but that it quickly needs to be replaced with the latest gadget on the market, is part of a culture of planned obsolescence. It encourages disdain for aging forms of technology and contributes to not only ecological, but also economic and social disasters. And it's therefore in great need of dismantling. The component of the multimedia project, which is shown in Reprogramming Earth, is a melted down Macintosh computer, which is displayed in a bed of sand. It plays upon the idea of antiquated forms of technical devices as ancient Stone Age relatives of today's computers and smartphones. It also draws attention to the physicality of those apparatuses. The minerals in our electronics have their origins in the Earth and they will return to it once we tire of them. So in response to that, this work considers the source of the minerals that technical devices are made of, where that e-waste goes when we dispose of it, and it allows us to connect tangibly to the material infrastructure of technology, which is often spoken of as immaterial. A passage from my book, Molten Media, helps to illustrate some of the thinking behind this work. Encoding the earth with piles of technical waste could be our equivalent of the rings of stones and bones of Paleolithic people, the lasting art of our civilization. Expeditions will need to be taken to rechart the maps for territories where new mountains have grown already becoming a source ripe for reclamation of useful materials. Man-made geological features are mined for precious minerals from the glass and plastic shale. What people in the distant future will make of our traces remains unknown, but they serve as a strange kind of time capsule to leave behind. Having reshaped the earth with our desire for its contents, Piling them up together when they are through, it's hard to know whether Anthropocene or Misanthropic is more accurate. From its production to its return to the earth, the electronics industry bears a harsh toll. Technological wastelands are no longer the territory of science fiction and dystopian fantasy. They are a present and pressing reality. This helps to underscore the gravity of the significant consequences that technocentrism presents us with. Though they're often obscured behind a veneer of techno-optimism and marketing, these are far from externalities. Connecting directly with the theme of the exhibition, we may ask ourselves, in what sense are we reprogramming Earth? To me, it invokes two interrelated ideas. The first is that we have been reprogramming Earth through our use of Earth's resources, extracting minerals, encoding them with data, and finally entering technical waste back into the ground. I also see it as a call to action, asking us to reprogram our relation to the Earth, to mitigate the effects of these damaging practices. So that's a bit of background about the work that I hope helps you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy the exhibition.